FAU will try to kick it deep and break the seal on this second half. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. And he did a good job bobbing and weaving and finding a little bit of running room on that return. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. They more than got the job done in the first half. Now the job in a bowl game, don't get distracted and finish the deal here in the second half. I mean, love the way they came out. They had all that time off, didn't look rusty at all, came out with a foot on the accelerator, looked really, really good. Palmer, you just more of the same here in the second half. I agree, and if you're on that sideline right now, now's not the time to be thinking about the offseason, the strength program, what classes you're taking in the spring. You need to focus on finishing this game, punctuating this season. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. To the air, it's Howard. Throws to the wideout. Pulls it in. Oh, look out. The 20. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Michigan. And once he got away from the D, they had no shot at catching it. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being hard. No shot. They have no idea how to get this quarterback down. He's on fire. Everything he's doing, he's working defensively. We gotta figure something out. We gotta try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyways. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they close it in style with a 72-yard pass to the house. Takes it inside his 30, and he's headed the other way. They get him stopped, but not before he gets it out to the 40-yard line. The FAU offense will return to the field. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good, really pre-snap, David, making sure they're in the right looks, and he's got to be really good with his decision. Maybe. He's got to be dialed in because defensively, you're giving up points. So it's not like you have the luxury of your defense playing great. The offense... He holds it in, and nobody's close. And he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, no! Well, as a defense, you know you're going to see the go route, especially against this guy. He does it to defenses, it seems, every single week. And so they're not able to get back deep enough to get run by. He makes the catch and then runs it into the end zone. They're going to have to change up their coverage to get some safety help up over the top because this guy's speed is a problem. And after the extra point, they're now down 21-7. to Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. And he's able to pick his way through the traffic nicely for a good return on that one before he's brought down. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to... Just broke the tackle and still on his feet. And he breaks into the open. And he'll take it to the house. He got loose. Touchdown, Wolverine. I am a great play caller when I can hand it to guys like that. He can go that far to the house, create big plays, showed you a little bit of vision, showed you a little bit of burners. When he kicked it in gear, he got the long touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And they knock through the extra point, and they're up 28 to 7. What a way to send a message. Huge play in the running game. One snap, and you've got a touchdown on the board. Caught inside the 30, and he'll bring it back. He's brought down after a good return, gets it out to the 31. FAU has it back as the Owls' offense will go back to work. 
Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession. Again, the offense is going to have to score. And Jesse probably score pretty quick. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. They're bringing heat. And they got him for the sack. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Makes the grab well past the sticks. Running toward the tape. He's at the 10. And he got away from the defense and takes it in. Touchdown, Owl! Nice job by the offense going down the field, putting points on the board, but you're still down a couple possessions. Still need some good things to happen. Oh, they block it. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they close it in style with a 72-yard pass to the house. They are running out of time here. They need to get the ball back. They'll line up for the onside kick. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. Firmly in control of this game. We'll see if they just try to run out the clock and get out with the victory. Everybody on offense here should feel really good about their performance today too, David. They had a really good game plan coming into this one, and they went out and they executed at a very high level. Yeah, lights out, and this game's over. I'm interested to see the philosophy now. Do we keep chucking the pill and keep trying to score points? Because it's the defense's responsibility to stop them, or do they just run this clock and say, all right, we did enough today. We kicked them in the face. Got the first down and more. Bulldozes his way through. Touchdown, Michigan! And the pummeling has started. How about that running back lumbering his way and getting into the end zone? What a fine zone. You might not necessarily be known for long runs and your fast speed, but all you got to do is get it done. Have the agility, have the awareness, score the touchdown. Makes the catch inside his 30 and wants much, much more. And the returner is stopped. The FAU offense will return to the field. This offense has pretty much been stuck in the mud the entire game. It's been a frustrating performance, Jesse. Yeah, and listen, you can't be hanging your head just yet. This game's not over. This coaching staff is still evaluating their players. So if you're on the field right now, you've got to finish this game. You've got to try to prove something to them. Well, the game is over, to be clear. They're not coming back. But I hear what you're saying. Keep fighting. Keep showing your coaches it matters. And maybe find something positive here late that you can build on for the weeks to come. He's in a world of trouble, and down he goes. A catastrophic loss on that play. DBs will try to keep everything in front. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. Got a man in the middle. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. On fourth down, trying to find his man. And the pass is intercepted. Didn't get a ton on the return, but the most important thing, he got the ball, and they've got it at the 48. And that's a really good job by the defense, understanding the situation of football. It's fourth down. It's late in the game. You've got a multi-possession lead. Take away all the deep stuff. Make them force the football into coverage. They do, and they stamp this game. And he's brought down after a nice game. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. Makes his connection. 
And he's brought down after a nice game. And that's just a great individual effort by the wide receiver. He catches this ball way short of the sticks, but because he's able to make the defender miss, now he's able to get the extra yards and turn that into an explosive play. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. And how about this offense? They're, they're not worried about the clock. They're not worried about the score. They're not worried about early and down. Still trying to execute their offense. Still trying to make big plays. And they've had a great day so far. Touchdown, Wolverine! And the punishment has been extended. Man, you knew this one was over already, but how about an exclamation point to go with it? Another score for this offense. They've had themselves a great day, and the stats just continue to pile up. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Great starting point. Takes it inside his own 25. Maybe if he could have eluded just one or two more guys, it would have been a big return, but they'll mark it at the 30. FAU has it back as the Owls offense will go back to work. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Getting some heat. This thing got out of hand on them, but they'll... He's off to the races. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. this offense with a fresh set of downs. The DBs will back off a bit. Trying to find his man on first down. He's going to let one fly down the middle. The pass is incomplete and one second is left. One more play to pad the stats. He wants to pass it on second down. Oh, he loves to fire downfield. Falls incomplete. They fought to the final whistle, but that's going to do it. This is what you're looking for when you have the better team. Go out and show it. Don't fool around with them. Go out and play to a standard of excellence. Just dominate. You know you're going to take care of business. You know you're going to win. It's, all, it's like how many? How many can I win by? And I like that you keep your foot on the gas and just continue to pile it on. It's their job to stop you. Let them do their job. You just keep going on. It's not about the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. This is why recruiting is so important in college football. They just had better players, more physical, they were faster, and it shows. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of E.